What's making these protests not peaceful? Groups like Antifa, okay? And uh, some amazing investigative journalism here. Uh, some reporting from Project Veritas where they actually infiltrated a, an Antifa group. Um, and check out, this is what they're teaching their people. When you want to know who the bad guys are, take a close look. City Antifa holds required lectures for prospecting members in secret at, in other words, bookstore before they open. And as part of their security culture, they require us to put our phones in the bathroom in next door. Uh, this bathroom is not only away from the main room where the lecture is taking place, but also has a fan that muffles any sound from the room. The whole goal of this, right, is to get out there and do dangerous things as safely as possible. How violent is Antifa or RCA in particular? Practice things like an eye gouge. It takes very little uh, pressure to injure someone's eyes. Uh, that's Project Veritas. Okay, this is not some fringe, you know, crazy rumor on the internet. Um, really, really good reporting. I'm going to show you some more of that later. Um, but here they are, okay? When I was talking about yesterday, I got to look deeper. We got to find out who the leaders are. I'm going to point out a leader today, okay? And we're going to talk about it a little later in the show. Senator Chuck Chuck E. Cheese Schumer, eye gouging, you say, anti-fights? This is what Charles Schumer had to say to take the podium and lead New York. Take a listen to this. I know we had a little audio issue there, but basically he said this morning, our morning joke, he said, I'm proud of New York. I'm proud of the protesters. New York is known to be a revolutionary town. The Patriots were revolutionaries. This guy's sick. We need some leadership, and uh, hell's breaking loose for a reason. It's all planned. We'll be back to break it down after this with Gerald Salente.